Welcome to Showroom Sundays again. I uh, hope you're having a good Sunday. And today, I'm at Jim Ellis Porsche. Let's go see what they got. Pop it off with the Cayenne. I ain't gonna flex. I really ain't know they still made these. Cayenne. I remember when these like flip came out, if I'm not mistaken. Look at that screen. Long screen in the middle. So I bet it's 21 inch wheels. Yep. Dang. 315, 35, 21. These wheels bigger than um the video with the Maseratis in. Dang. Dang. Big push truck. 315s in the room. And eighty-five thousand dollars. Three hundred thirty-five horsepower, three hundred thirty-two pound feet of torque, three liter uh turbo V6. Big brakes. They didn't drill to slide it, but they big. Uh big calipers on there. These big beefy. They got 285, 40, 21 in the front and 315, 35, 21 in the rear. This tire is, but look how big that is. My hand is huge. It covers way more than my whole tire. 315, that's, that's a lot of tire. What brand, I didn't even look what brand it was. Yokohama. You got some Michelin. This is like the baby can, that's how I consider. Cause you see, y'all maybe a seat. It's a little bit smaller. But this is the baby one to me. God. Three two ninety-five, thirty-five, twenty-one, and two sixty-five, forty. 21. So you know something about these staggered tires? No rotate. And when you gotta buy some new ones, you gonna pay for it. Pirelli, Porsche Panamera. This is like, like the second most, well, well, I don't say that. Well, I say in modern days, really, this almost like the first most popular Porsche. This in a 911. Look at these. Them Pirelli P0s and tire, I'm trying to tell y'all. In the front, 275, uh, 3521. This is that real poor. And 315, 3021 is in the rear. No drill to slide at rotors, but they huge. Look how big this rotor is. And it big brake. What kind is this? They make a lot of different Panamera. I think this is a base Panamera, though, for real. I'm not sure. I know they used to make, like, a V6 one. V6 all-wheel drive. Then V8. V8 all-wheel drive. Then they made, like, the turbo, twin turbo, turbo S, and hybrid ones. And Really, I think the most powerful Porsche Panamera is the, uh, this is 2020. Three-liter supercharged. I mean, wow. Three-liter turbocharged. 330 horsepower. 330 pound-feet torque. You gonna run you hundred and four thousand dollars. I'm gonna leave the push right here. But I think the most powerful Panamera now is the uh the turbo hybrid. Them electric, electric and gas put together do something. I ain't gonna flex. Oh, that's a Cayenne S. Make an S. Woo! You know them uh, look at that quad exhaust. I might not be able to see. Let me show you. Quad exhaust. 911s. You must fast. That's like the, like, really? See, Panamera 4. That means it's four wheel drive. So look at the green. Yep, hybrid. I bet that's fast. It's all get out. Big caliper. But the 911 is like the Corvette's main competitor. Look at all these. Is that a Porsche? Boxer? I don't even. 
You know, they still made this, if that's what it is. Quad exhaust. The tire's big, I can see that off real. Targa. I don't know how to say that if I'm saying it right. But this hot them. Oh, it's Pilot, Pilot Sport Cup too. Them like, these racing tires. It got 305, 30, 20s. And it got, here's the size, 245, 35, 20s in the front. Big caliper, drilled, drilled and um, drilled and ventilated ro rotors. One thing about Porsche, these are racing cars. That's what Porsche is from day one. So it don't got lug nuts like you would see like this one do. It got regular, or well, this called lug bugs, but I'm gonna say lug nuts for its simplicity. You just drill them out, well, impact them out, whatever you want to call it. These for racing, so you can just quick. Do this one little center hub, boom, take the wheel off, put it back on, boom, tighten. So when you're racing, you're gone. 2016 911 Targa. I never even, I don't know. 400 <laughs> kilowatts, 430 horsepower, $124,000 for 2016. And that's the thing about Porsche and foreign, these high quality foreign brands. They hold, they value, they already expensive. But they hold value. That's why, like, now I'm going to stream saying Lamborghini. You can find, like, a Lamborghini 2000. It's 2019. So you can find Panamera 4. You can find, a, like, a 2010 Lamborghini. $150,000, $200,000. This is an 18 Panamera 4. 3 liter V6. 330 horsepower. This looks like a Cayenne. Oh, it's the making. See, like this is a little nice one. Tires ain't look huge. Yeah, 255, 50, 19. 235, 55, 19. Still can't rotate them or nothing, but you know what I'm saying? This is not too much power and all that extra stuff. If you really don't want it. Ain't got no sunroof, though. That's crazy. Man. They haven't got the panoramic. The panoramic with the panoramic roof. I'm talking about. Well, yeah, not all Porsche. I like how the handle go up like that. Not all uh, Porsche just got the little center hub. But them, the other guy like, got regular. But the racing ones, the racing ones got it. It's 911, 114,000, 2018. That's a Cayenne. All these Cayenne. I mean, these 718s. That's a big little vent right there. Gonna lie to you. Mm, this baby big Brodus. 265, 35, 20. Might be the same. Nah, I doubt it. 235, 35, 20. 64,000, so this one is much more affordable. See, it's a little engine, 2.5 liter. It still got 350 horsepower, manual transmission. Look at some of these. Look at these big Cayenne, though. I like these, though. They cost, though. They're going to run you, like, I think new, maybe like 70 something. This is 19, it's 71,000. I don't like the way this one looked that much. I guess the paint, but the other one, I like that. This is big. It's big too. That Cayenne. It's not a third row SUV, if I'm not mistaken. But it's big and roomy, everything. 20 inch wheels, 275 in the front. I mean, probably 305. 305 is in the back. Not drilled or slotted rotors, but they nice brake system going on. Not drilled or slotted. Ventilated in the rear and the front. Not drilled or slotted in the front, but ventilated. It's nice, roomy. It's a, it's a, it's a SUV. You gotta have room. Only thing I don't like about these two, look at all them buttons. Whoa, button overload. But you do see that switch right in the middle? That right there. You can control the height like crazy. 
It's got 295s in the front. 295s in the rear. 295, 31. So you can rotate these. Because it's the same. That's the 17. I like the 17 look better than that 19. It's an 18 Mika. So you see. All these. Now, I was about to say, this look, look like one of the older GTS. Look at this. See, this is a 911. Yup. 98,000 for a 2013. Now, this look like the newer ones. If I'm not mistaken. That's a 718. It's got the look. It just ain't got all the power like the other. Okay. So, this is a 2019. See? Let's see. Oh. I like. Oh, it still got a CD player. Shout out the Porsche. What the heck? The key in here. Oh, I'm about to say, hold on. The key in. I, I was gonna start. I forgot they got like the. Wait, wait. Is this the key? Nah, you gotta have something else in your pocket, bro. Cause I'm like, bro, no way they just left the key in here. I'm not gonna steal. Got both system in there, but somebody would. Porsche has literally like the number one um, PDK transmission. They transmissions. The button's not bad. I like it. It's a little small. See, I just reach back in my arm. Boom, boom. Let's see if I can open this. I know they they gotta have a cup holder in here now. No. You don't think you get no cup holder with this one, buddy. I ain't gonna flex. It's small. Yeah, it's small. It's like I don't know. It's it's alright, I guess. But yeah, nice paddle sister. I can't leave like what the heck is going on? I don't know what to do. I don't know, man. Shoot. I, she, I was going to get a little cold start today, man. But it's, it's cool, though. You can get no sunroof. Phil, it's so black, though. I don't, like, I, I don't think I could deal with this black interior because uh, it got drill rotor. It felt claustrophobic. I feel like claustrophobic in here. So I said vet. Somebody driving a vet fast. Hey, look, though. I've been saying it's the uh, Cayenne GTS. This 2016. This had that engine, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, 440. What the heck? <laughs> Something just ran into me. 440 horsepower. So this used to run. 295, 35.21. Oh, and two nine five three five two one. You can rotate them time. GTS is seventeen. Got sunshade in there. Brakes not drilled or slotted, but and GTS. I can't remember if these got a V eight in them or that twin turbo. Some more. Over there. Oh, See, these got the front sensors and cameras stuff in the front. But these are a little bit newer. No honking. That's a make. 50,000. That ain't bad. If you plan on keeping it, I say that ain't bad. Make it nice. Go over there and check that out. See, Porsche got that charging station. Uh oh. Oh, maybe having electric cars. Am I looking at the right spot? There you go. What's this? This is really like the player part. You drive up. They sell um, the little Porsche jackets and stuff in here. It's nice. What y'all think look better sitting? A nice Corvette? Or a nice Porsche. Me personally, 
I'd rather have both. To be quite frank with you. Yep. See, that's one thing about Porsche that confused me. So, like, they got Porsche. I don't know. It's like they got Carreras and they got 911. And it's like, seemed like when I first used to look it up, like in 2011, 12, seemed like it was like a Porsche 911 and a Porsche Carrera. But I think now it's like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Confusing. All right. Yeah. Oh, this, look at this gear shifter, man. It's kind of cool. I ain't going to flex. As soon as I sat in here, I felt like luxury. I like this. Ooh, look at that. That's clean. Dead gauge cluster is clean, and it still got the analog RPMs with the speed. Ah, simple. 102 miles to empty. I'm not going to flex. I don't know. I just knew you. Oh, that's one thing. Let me get cut up. That's any. Hey, this got to be the. Hundred something thousand dollar version, bold sound system. Hey, that's one thing I forgot. Look at these paddle shifters. They, they's aluminum or some form, man. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum, but that's quality. Man, I wish I had a key just started. These seats feel good. Like I feel like I'm secured in this seat. Well, I can see me that well, but I'm. I like how it gripped me a little bit. You know, I like this. An easy drive mode, just trust it right there. One thing I forgot that these things got back seats in it. Why, bro? I don't even think it's really bro, for babies, honestly. I'm gonna just get back here just to like, I don't even know. I see, I'm moving this junk all the way up. I'm not even about to play a game. Whoo. Oh, shoot. Man. Oh, I can't fit. I literally can't. I'm slouching. Hold on, I'm sure. I'm literally, like, slouching. Look at... Huh? This is me trying to sit up for real. I don't even... I don't even kind of fit. So, like I said, look how much room if the seat was regular. My legs literally can't... My hand don't even fit. So... Honestly, this is really just a selling point just to say it got back seats because keys can't even fit in here. Like, I think they fold down. I don't know how to do it. There you go. So it's really just extra storage, bro. Because who? I wouldn't even want to put my dog back here unless I had a super tiny little teacup. One of them dogs, you know what I'm talking about. Oh god. That was the smallest backseat I think I ever even seen. So this is a 911 Carrera S. Let's see all the seats, but I do a lot of stuff as we can see. I mean, why are we here? Okay, I like that. Easy and simple. What the heck? Oh, I forgot. It has a frunk. It has a front. The engine is in the back. The trunk is in the front. It has a front. I completely forgot. So you know this rear wheel drive. I think some of them all will, but. Uh oh, it didn't close my front, man. Hold on. Oh my God. Some, some big wheels, 21 inch wheels. Is on front of you? 
20 inch reels, so 245, 35, 20 in the front. And 305, 30, 21 in the rear. This is a big, huge wheel. That brakes clean, dude. Big rotor, big uh, caliper. These brakes clean. I mean, the wheel's big. Three liter. So really, you just see the fan. They don't say what oil type to put in here. See the fans? Yeah. I forgot all about that. 911. Let's see if we can find some good stuff. I hope so. I think them custom make cars. They got a nice shop. They painted well. That's some Meekin, I think. Had a nice little brown, brown, tan. All right, let me find some. I think it's the big boy. Bigger boy. This might be somebody's car, but we just gonna take a little peek. Yep, this GT3. Hey, this is a bad joker right here. Sport Cup 2. Look how... Now, this is a brake. Look how big the two-piece. Take it off, work on it. Look how big this is. Six-piston. This mug stops. Look at the seats. Look at the seats. <sighs> This guy, uh, let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Oh, I can't never find stuff. Why, me there? Trying to find tire size. 305, 30, 20. Nice brake. What's in the front? 245, 35, 20. Dude, ain't no back seat in the GT3. Big, woo -hoo. Look at that GT3, bro. Bro. Dang. Dual exhaust on there. This guy single exhaust. Dang. These nice, man. The hybrid, bro. Hybrid is bad. They fast. Don't think hybrid means slow. These mugs are fast. Nice another Panamera. Honestly, I think all these people's cars, but it's all right. This is a GTS. So I think this got V8 in two. Yep. I'll tell y'all a secret. See how this wing, this actually comes up and there's a spoiler. And, uh, you can tell it feels like the regular V6 one, like for example. Or like this, uh, we go this one. See how this is, oh, this is a newer one. I ain't gonna go this, this is new body style. But see how this is all solid, but it comes up as the spoiler, it's called active rear spoiler, move as you go in speed, it'll come out. You can tell if it's a more performance one because this one comes out and split, it actually goes to the side, so like, boom, boom. That one just, boom. Oh yeah, that's a little something I spy with. So, thank y'all for watching Showroom Sunday. Don't forget to pray, drive safe, don't drink, drive, don't text and drive. You know the deal. You know what to do. We want to live to a thousand years old. Have a good Sunday.